Hi friends and welcome to the video. This is a general collective reading for the week. So we are after the full moon. We had that huge full moon in Sagittarius opposite the sun in basically Cancer or Gemini. Um, so the sun is now going into the fourth house, which is Cancer ruled by the moon. So it's uh, very emotional, but it's a really good energy for summer. Um, we had that full moon in Sagittarius releasing expansive emotions far-reaching global <laughs> uh the emotions are connected to globally related things with that um it was connected to pluto so the emotions were supporting change but i'm just going to go through and pull a general for the last week of june and see what comes up for everyone this is not for a zodiac this is just kind of the general energies that could be popping out so Four of Swords, needing to rest. Something is being given to you that will, it's like a gift, but it can also be charitable. Uh, resting, prayers. This could even be right here. Prayers are answered because this is about not discussing something with someone and just kind of laying down the sword and saying, you know what? I'm just going to let it happen the way it happens. So Four of Swords, rest. Yeah, there's too much work here. Nine of rods in the crossing. This is like you care so much about this that you would literally kind of almost burn out. So nine of rods in the cross. This is rest. This is like chill for the rest of the week. <laughs> Just relax. Okay, we got the empress, the goddess of great abundance, wealth, prosperity coming in matriarch kind of energy. Um, it doesn't have to be. It can just be about the manifestation of just basically feeling like you have everything. You don't really need more. Um, two of coin in the past. Having to manage a couple of things at once. Maybe an emotional time. Oh, boy. I got this five of wands. Very competitive. It could be like people care so much. They want their business to work. And you want your business to work. But there's a lack of agreement in this. But Five of Wands hones you. It sort of sharpens the sword for you to be better. Um, it's like a sporty kind of energy. Okay. You're going to actually, like I just said, improve yourself. Maybe learn some more. Get out a book. Research. Do some. This is the journeyman kind of learner. Um, perfecting your craft. And what do we have here as the viewer? You are getting the truth, clarity, new information that is a victory for you. This is overcoming some kind of challenge. Ace of Swords is the truth that brings clarity out of confusion. So, and it does show <laughs> some confusion. This is the Seven of Cups, which is confusion. Um, someone's confused. Okay. We have, you just want things to be easier in your life. You want it to be better, smoother, out of this, whatever this is. Um, disagreements, like one person wants one thing, the other person wants another thing. It, it, it's like, I keep trying, but it's like, you actually come out here with the hero's march, the victory, overcoming being seen, being recognized, good reputation, shining sort of above others, kind of like riding in on the victory horse march there. So you have perfected something in your wisdom, your knowledge, your information. The fact, though, that someone else doesn't know what's going on is kind of something to look at. Why is that person seven of cups? Why don't they know what's going on? Oh, they have a tower. So they have a shock <laughs> or a surprise. And they don't know what to think. It's like, I've got all these different things on a table. And all of a sudden, there's a big surprise. And this person's kind of shocked. But you actually know exactly what this is about. You are Ace of Swords. Someone doesn't like someone here, but it's going to be fixed or solved. 
um, it's pretty much showing like one person doesn't really like the other person. <laughs> Whoever that is. Could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We also have Earth here. The Three of Pentacles is we're going to work it out because we all have to and we're all paid. So it's going to be worked out. What is this Five of Wands about? Why is there a competitive energy? Hmm. Well, this is actually going to work out in your favor, Four of Wands. This is stability, happiness, the home. Um, this could be like petty disagreements about just like somebody wants something to be one way. Another person wants something to be the other way. What is the truth you're bringing in here as the viewer? What is the truth? Okay. You've got ideas and skills and you're a master. This is mastery. And you have this other people. So you're not alone in this. You actually have other people who are masters as well. What do you have eight of pentacles for? Why do you have to learn? Uh oh, queen of pentacles. It could be financial, something about finances, money, uh, research, learning, um, filling out paperwork, paying close attention. There could be a Taurus Capricorn Virgo feminine that you're dealing with. What is this tower about, though? A king and the sun. <laughs> something comes to light about the lovers. So this could be something about a problem that may have occurred in the past that maybe you tried to get past. Um, it doesn't have to mean like romantic lovers. This is the lovers is something the way it was before it didn't go right. So it's like the way it was before. Reconciliation is the word. <laughs> Reconciling. The sun on the king of pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So somebody is shocked and confused by something they discover that somebody... This is very small, minor arcana energy. It's very petty. It's very everyday, like someone being annoyed at someone, defending someone's position here, seven of fire, feeling very passionate, but also feeling like someone's up against others uh, on a defensive. Okay. And we have the devil again. Okay. So for you as the viewer, you're not involved in that, which is good. You're actually providing the clarity and the truth and the mutual or team support. This is some kind of like group or team support for this type of problem <laughs> that happens. Okay, so let's see. What is the tower about? What is this tower about? Came out as the lovers, king of earth, hierophant, institutions, Taurus, Marriage. Oh, and somebody here, Nine of Cups. Celebration energy. There could be some kind of court or legal matter or process that is decided in someone's favor. Um, because, I mean, the outcome is this victory card. So it's overcoming a challenge. The world and the emperor and the high priestess. And the lovers. Something will go back to the way it was. It is something that is discovered that's very important. The world, the high priestess, somebody knows this. There is something about the victory of this emperor. So there is something about a win, uh, overcoming a challenge. Possibly promotions. There is this five of coin underlying. So there is something that is needed needed to be given or needed to be returned. Oh, and this Queen of Pentacles shows back, back up again. Earth sign, feminine energy. Somebody feels like they're missing something. The Four of Wands is here behind it, though. They are going to get it. And the Nine. Okay. So for the general collective, some of you are more like observing some kind of challenge going on this week. Um, and it will be overcome. So let's see what we get for the collective. Show us for the collective. Oh, a better choice. 
or um, maybe a child or child custody. Something here is about elevating, going up the stairwell, and then getting a better option. Ooh, this is cool. So we got here a challenge, but then we have the deepest wish of the wishing well. So there is something here that would be like your deepest wish, maybe even something someone around you never expected that would happen with that tower because it does come up with a nine of cups. So it is like, oh my gosh, my deepest wish, whatever that would be. Let's see. What else? Time is a factor for some reason. Hmm. There is somebody here that is sort of like mad at someone else, thinking they're like a liar or something like that. We have the snake and the the fox in the hen house. <laughs> so there is something about a shady, but somebody's mad. The snake is somebody who, or someone who is mad at someone. Um but we do have unconditional love and support here underlying, which is, so there could be some kind of temporary problem with someone. Something is looked into very closely. Okay. Could be anything with the government. Um, I saw the bureaucracy with the coffin. So that means like something could be closing out a cycle there. Getting an, an important letter. This has happened before. Oh, and the mice. This is the thief. <laughs> so there's something going on here where someone's dealing with some kind of shocking surprise about a conflict, but future energy looks really good because you as the viewer have a lot of support. Maybe you're hiring people. Maybe these people are on your side. They could be paid to be there with pentacle energy. Okay. Oh my gosh, we got this deceit card. Okay, so you could be dealing with some shade, but it's temporary. It doesn't really, it doesn't last. The thinking woman could be dealing with uh, some kind of lawyer or someone with, you know, a higher degree. The magician. Okay, well, someone is going to be shocked about something that occurs <laughs> around them. Uh, you as the viewer come out as the hero. So whatever this is here, it's not going to last. It's a temporary situation. So that's what I have for the collective. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.